Hey guys, Jay here. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a review on the Garmin Gar Ice XD Ice Transducer. Uh, this is a separate unit you can buy for the Striker 4 and other uh, Garmin models. I believe that if you're buying a Striker 4 Plus, it's automatically now being shipped with this type of uh, transducer. I'm not 100%, but I believe that might be the case. However, mine did not come with it. Uh, it came with, uh, as most of you are familiar with, especially if you're a Garmin user, it came with the boat uh, tr transom style transducer, or I guess the trolling inducer. And uh, I'm okay with it. It's been great through the ice all last year and a little bit of this year that I've used it. But I'm really looking forward to using this. Apparently it's supposed to give you better target separation, better clarity. Uh, apparently it still has chirp. Uh, on the side of the box here, it does say that... Uh, you still have 77 and 200 kilohertz. Uh, shows your angles here. Are, your cone angle can 45 to 15, so that's pretty cool. And then your power is 500 watts, which is a lot of power coming out of that uh, uh, sonar. And it still still has the du dual beam. So I'm looking forward to this. Uh, we're going to get on the ice and we're going to try it. I'm actually going to give you uh, try to do my best to give you footage of both the the new deucer style ice deucer as well as um, in comparison the kind of read you get with the uh, trolling deucer and honestly we'll, we'll see how it looks and see how it goes I'm quite excited uh, it's a four pin model uh, which is pretty much what I have for the striker four and uh, yeah so let's get at it okay guys so I'm set up on the ice here in the shack and right now I'm running the uh, transducer that came with the striker four and as you can see I've got two marks on the screen here I've got, uh, you know, got that one there, and then I got one below. So the top one here, that's my lipless crank. And you can see that's pretty good target separation because the bottom one is my jig. You see how it comes off the bottom and reads it quite well. So we'll see um, if there's a difference. And just so you know, the transducer itself is sitting at a, at a 45 degree angle in the water. I don't know if you can see it there. So I've got it just at the edge of the hole. It's just below the column, and uh, we'll see. I had to pull up the transducer because uh, this guy hit pretty hard. As you can see, there he is, and he hit pretty hard. Definitely a good fish, very pretty fish. Okay, so I'm going to put transfer back over to the Gar Ice XD uh, ice transducer um, just to see if I get a difference in display or reading. Okay, so I'll go through some of the settings and stuff. So right now I'm uh, I'm definitely on chirp. Uh, you can see my my span is at 40 feet. I'm actually going to change that down. So I'm only in 20 feet of water. I'll go to 21 just so I have a buffer. Uh, again, I have it auto medium. The chirp, I'm on chirp 77. Bottom lock is on. Sonar setup. As you can see, scroll speed is ultra. Noise reject, I'll get into in a second. Appearance. I have a color scheme is classic. Edge is off. A scope on. Fish symbols is off. Noise reject, I have on hide surface noise now transducer type this is where a lot of you guys are wondering so because this is a newer model as you can see your only option is the dual beam which is what you already had so you're not gonna fry your transducer or anything like that because these other options um, the Garmin 
15 and the 8, those are not this deucer. Uh, this deucer falls under the dual beam setup. So uh, there you go. There you have it. Um, so now I'm just going to play with it to kind of clear up the, the display. I think I'm going to turn my gain down. Or I mean my gain up. Oh, I got a fish coming up to my lure here. Wouldn't it be nice if we could get him on video? It's a big fish. Oh, he's on it. He's on it. Nope, not interested. Might be after my other jig, which is on the bottom. All right, I need to get these settings set up here. So, uh, back to my gain. I'm going to go to auto meet, auto high, which is where I had it. See if it clears it up. Ooh, that's a good solid mark there. Alright, so now if I take the chirp off, go back into the menu, just go to 77 kilohertz with no chirp. You can see how much it cleans up the uh, the reed. See, there's a fish right by my lure there. Just can't get him to bite. <laughs> so really, you don't want to be using the 200 unless you're in deeper water. I'm only in 20 feet, so... You want to be using it at 30 or 40 feet or deeper, I believe. So I'm going to go back to the uh, 77 kilohertz and look at the, the difference in clarity and stuff and what it's reading. Okay, so as you can see, I just swapped. I just swapped the transducers again. So now I'm putting back on the boat transducer. There's my lure on the bottom. That's my jig. There's the lipless crank. So you can see there is no difference in read, other than I think it really convenience. For those who feel they gotta mess around too much to get that boat transducer in the water and get it just right on the right angle, 
other than that, I'm telling you, it looks like the same to me. You decide for yourself. Okay guys, so what I'll do is uh, I'm going to reel my uh, crankbait in. You can see I'm reeling it up to about almost uh, up around 10 or 12 feet. Okay, so you see it's sitting there around 10 feet. That bottom line is my jig. I'll put some movement on it so you can see it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'll switch over to flashing mode now just so you guys can see the difference. So on flasher mode, this here is my uh, crankbait sitting up around the 10 foot mark. And uh, I will actually jig my jig off the bottom here so you can see it. There it is. As you can see at the top of the screen there, there is no water temperature. So for all of you that had questions, is does it give you the temperature of the water? The Gar Ice XD does not. But it's showing my voltage and it's showing my depth. And as you can see, it's very responsive, very... Um, what's the word? In tune with the, uh, the jig and the other lures. Okay, so I'm going to switch back over to tr tr traditional because that's what I prefer. I guess I could also show you, oh, it looks like I have a fish coming, so I'm just going to hang tight for a second here. See if I can get him to commit. Yeah, he's coming down to my lure, you can see that. I think that might be a very small fish, though. Okay. So I'll show you split screen, split frequency. Oof. Look at the difference there on the beams because the, uh, this transducer is a dual beam. Very clear very clear and keep in mind again this is my lipless crank up here at 10 feet and then there's my jig very busy um, that's why I prefer just the single traditional screen I'll go back to that back to some vision Okay guys, that's it for the review. I hope you found this helpful. So just a quick recap, the Gar Ice or the Garmin Ice Deucer is dual beam and uh, it is a four pin transducer so you do not require an adapter for the Garmin Striker 4 Plus bundle kit. It is essentially plug and play. It's very accurate, target separation is excellent and uh, the only real drawback I can find to this to be quite honest with you is the fact that it does not give you water temperature. Uh, minor in my mind compared to the convenience it gives you of being able to just drop it down the hole and not worrying about the right angle and uh, that's it so please like please subscribe and thanks for watching